August 19th, 2014 changed our life. I'd always had this hope that Jim would somehow come home, just like he had from his Libyan captivity. That if I pushed hard enough and prayed hard enough, that he would um, return home, but he did not. I was angry, I was so angry, because I felt that Jim had been abandoned by his government. Jim's horrific murder was the first of the four Americans who were also brutally killed. Um, at the same time, two other Americans were killed in captivity. I really felt as an American that we could do better. Within three weeks of Jim's murder, we start the James Foley Legacy Foundation. They were able to turn that tragedy into triumph. And you can see that with the Foley Foundation. First, it was established to keep Jim's memory alive. But now, the Foley Foundation is way more than that. This is a very important part of the work of the Foley Foundation because we need champions here in Congress. We advocate for all U.S. nationals who are held hostage or wrongfully detained around the world to be prioritized by our government and others to help bring them home. Before the Foley Foundation existed, our government had no structure or lack thereof of dealing with these cases. And Diane Foley, through the foundation, was able to revolutionize the way government approaches it through legislation, through a policy review. The singular thing I think they have done is knit together a community from the government, from the intelligence agencies, from media, from think tanks, from academia, activist groups, who would come together for the purpose of bringing our children home. So I would say the, the three most uh, concrete and important achievements of the Philly Foundation so far was this first initial hostage policy review that was carried out by the Obama administration soon after the murder of Jim. Which started the United States hostage enterprise. The presidential policy directive organized a hostage fusion cell, also established a special envoy for hostage affairs, and a hostage recovery group at the White House. All of this structure was a huge step in terms of prioritizing the return of innocent U.S. nationals. I'd say the next thing is these extraordinary annual reports that the Foley Foundation now issues, which tracks the numbers of Americans held hostage every year. We do the research and we make recommendations for action. And we go to Capitol Hill and we talk to those in the hostage enterprise and we make our case. I think the principal impact of the James Foley Foundation has been to raise the awareness of Americans and frankly people around the world about what it means to have a loved one, a family member taken hostage by a, either a state-sponsored group or a rogue organization in another part of the world. I think the role of the foundation and everything we do in the Foley Foundation is to guarantee that people comes first. Not policy comes first, people come first. My husband, Jeff Wookie, was released from his captivity uh, March 20th. The Foley Foundation supported me over six and a half years. They reached out to me and offered their help. Yeah, just knowing that they were there and what they're doing for the families of the hostages and the hostages themselves was a, an enormous support to me. We also began our curricula for um, preventive journalist safety. We've started teaching journalists how to mitigate risks in hostile environments and hazardous situations. To make sure that, that something like this doesn't happen again. I'm very grateful for the progress that we've made, but there's a lot more to do because now 95% of people taken in 2023 are wrongfully detained people by state actors, by other governments, other countries. This becomes a much more of a national security threat. 
One of our 2023 priorities is to mandate comprehensive review of the hostage enterprise, focus mostly on the wrongful detentions and that huge complexity and the way it interferes with our own foreign policy in the world. We cannot stop fighting until every American detained abroad is reunited with their families. Together, we will continue the fight for justice and accountability. Congratulations to the Foley Foundation on another year of doing the important work necessary to bring all Americans home.